Alright, hello and welcome to another awesome tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can display your WordPress posts in the form of a grid. And over here I've got some examples, you can see over here we have a three column uh, grid featuring the featured image the title of the post as well as the category of the post. Uh, down here is another example where we also have a three column grid with the featured image of each individual post as well as the title, the date of the post as well as the excerpt of each individual post. Alright, so we're going to use an awesome plugin called the Content Views plugin in order to achieve this functionality and this is easily one of the best free plugins out there on the internet and of course they have a professional version that offers more features but the free version of this plugin is just awesome so let's get cracking now i'm here on my batman v superman website which by the way if you haven't seen my awesome tutorial on how to build this website i will add the links in the description box below all right so now by default uh, this is how my blog page looks like. It's one column and we have each individual post with the title, uh, some meta information, the featured image, as well as the excerpt. And uh, there you go. That's pretty much how the default blog layout is. Now, if you're wondering why a lot of these posts look very similar, it's because I did clone uh, most of my posts. I simply made copies of each uh, individual original post that, that I had simply because I was just too lazy to go ahead and um, <laughs> create new posts all over. All right, so let me just come down here to the back end. Now, I've already gone ahead to install the Content Views plugin and it's by... Uh, where's the guy now? It's by it's by PT Guy. So just in case you're wondering... Uh, who created this plugin it's by PT Guy? It's an awesome plugin. Go ahead and install and then activate the plugin. And once you activate the plugin, you will have the tab here that says Content Views. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Add New. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a title, which will be ooh, Posts Grid. Posts Grid. And now over here, we can choose to display either the posts or our pages in the form of a grid. Uh, usually posts will be for grids while pages just display pages just as they are. There's no need to add pages into grids. Alright, so let's stick with the post. And now over here we can choose to filter the kind of posts that we want to display. We can either choose to include only certain types of posts or we can also choose to exclude certain posts from the grid. And of course you can do that by adding the IDs of each individual post. We can also choose to limit the number of posts that we'd like to show. Uh, let's just go ahead and limit this to 15. And then over here as well, we have some advanced filters where we can also choose to display posts from a certain category or posts that only have certain tags or posts that have uh, that are from a certain author or have a certain status. So if I click taxonomy, for example, we have the options here to go either with a category or a tag. I can click the category and then over here I can choose to add whatever categories that I would like to pull my posts specifically from. But I'm going to go ahead and display all my posts so I don't have to use any one of these filters. Alright, so let me just go ahead and save this. And when you create a new view, the plugin will automatically generate a shortcode for you. So over here, I've got my shortcode in green. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to come down to my pages. And I've actually gone ahead to create a page called Test Grid, which we can use to test out this plugin. All right, so I'm just going to paste the shortcode over here. Oops. Right click paste let's click update and now let's go ahead and preview the page preview changes oh let's see i'm so excited i can't believe it all right awesome so now you can see we have our test grid we have our two columns we have the featured image the title as well as the excerpt 
and there you go we have our posts grid but check this out check this out we can actually do so much more if i come back down to my content views click on all views and then click edit over here to edit the view that we created if i clicked on display settings over here we can do a lot all right so we have three basic layouts we have the grid collapsible list and we have the scrollable list this is the default grid style so let's change this to collapsible list and then over here we also have this button that says update preview if i click on that button over here we have a the generation of what it's going to look like on our real page we have a sample so with the collapsible list what happens is all our posts will be in the form of an accordion basically so when you click on the title of each post it will open up with the featured image as well as the excerpt as you can see uh click on another post the previous one closes and then we have the new one uh click on another post the last one that we clicked on will close automatically and then we have this one it's pretty pretty interesting it's kind of nice uh, we also have the scrollable list let me just go ahead and update the preview. And now with the scrollable, scrollable list, what happens is you have all these buttons at the bottom of the screen, which you can then click on, which will then display each individual post. Each post will scroll from the right to the left. But I kind of like my grid, so let's stick with the grid. And then over here, we can choose to display uh, how many items we want on each row. The default is two. Let's change that to three. And of course, the layout format for each post, we can choose one column or two columns. Let's just stick with one column. And over here, we can choose to either show or hide the featured image. Or we can also do the same for the title, the content, or with the meta fields. Let's just go ahead and show meta fields as well. So we're going to show the category, the author, date, comment, and so on and so forth. All right. Oh, and over here, you can see they have some sort of advertisement saying uh, you can actually change the display order with the professional version so which means you can actually choose to show uh, the content first and then the thumbnail and then the title or you can simply choose to go ahead and show the content uh after the title before the thumbnail and you know just <laughs> display the information any way you'd like to display the information all right thumbnail size we can also choose to display certain sizes of our featured images we've got the thumbnail medium large full size and of course we also have the post thumbnail size i'm just going to stick with the uh with the medium size for now medium is fine and of course you can also choose to dis disable responsive images for wordpress 4.4 if the thumbnail size looks blurry but i'm just going to leave this unchecked and then last but not least oh we also have uh meta fields well let's just talk about the content first of all we can either choose to show the full content or simply show an excerpt of each content and then uh, indicate how many words we'd like to display 20 words is fine uh meta fields as well we can also choose again to display either the date the author the comment count and so on and so forth so let's just go ahead and show uh the date let's show the author let's also show the taxonomies uh pagination we can choose to enable pagination if we want to and then we can also choose to either uh choose for our post to open in a new tab or on the current tab when uh either the title the thumbnail or the read more button is clicked all right that's a lot of information let me just go ahead and click save and uh let's take a look at what we have let's come down here refresh all right, so remember we chose three items per row. So let's see how this looks like. All right, awesome, we've got three items per row and we also have the meta information that we included. We have the date, the author, as well as the category of each blog post. Pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. All right, so that's pretty much how to use these amazing free plugins to generate grids for your blog posts. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to it. My name is Alex. Once again, I'd like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.